It was unbelievable, the chaos and the panic, and it's also, I suspect, understandable. National Guard troops have now been placed on alert throughout the state and called up in the San Fernando Valley to help evacuate the residents out there. At the San Fernando Veterans Administration Hospital, rescue workers are still tearing at that rubble. A doctor said we're not even counting the injured. Near the community of Silmar, a 40-foot section of wall tumbled from the new Olive View Sanitarium. Survivors were evacuated to other hospitals or left lying on lawns awaiting help. From the air, as you're looking now, the devastated VA hospital looked like a great hand had come down and crushed it. You're not looking at the hospital now, but one of the freeways, but we have showed you the hospital and you know that that's true. Teams of doctors with morphine and adrenaline worked over each patient dragged from the VA hospital rubble. One doctor looked at one still form, just brought out and shook his head. And he said, no way, no how, no way. Travis Greenley, a state police officer who lives in Newhall, said, I've lived in California all my life, but this is the hardest quake I've ever felt. Fires, of course, lit the sunrise. One spokesman for the Los Angeles Fire Department said there are so many fires, it's unbelievable. He estimated there were at least 150 set off by broken gas lines and falling power lines. Lockheed sent home 18,000 workers at its plants in Burbank, Van Nuys, Watts, and Saugus Newhall. The main runway at the Hollywood Burbank Airport was buckled. Telephones and electricity were cut in many places. And a number of radio stations this morning went off the air, but that was only briefly. Incidentally, uh, just one more note on the animals that we were talking about a while ago. If you're evacuating that area in the San Fernando Valley, you can take your animals at, to the West Valley Animal Shelter at 2655 Plummer Street, and that's in Chatsworth, or to the East Valley Animal Shelter at 13131 Sherman Way in North Hollywood, or to Two Acre Ranch at 11249 Borden Avenue in Pacoma. That's also available to take animals and livestock, and that's through the generosity of Mrs. Ford. In any case, if you can avoid it at all, don't leave those animals behind when you evacuate that area that's endangered by the water from the dam. Chief Aldman of the San Marino Fire Department has issued a warning to all San Marino residents not to use fireplaces until they've been checked by authorities. And the Los Angeles Fire Department also warns all residents in the Los Angeles area to follow some instructions to avoid using fireplaces until they have been checked by authorities. Incidentally now, Marina Mercy Hospital at 4650 Lincoln Boulevard at Marina Del Rey is available. A hundred beds and extensive care units for anybody who needs them. Let me repeat that. Marina Mercy Hospital at 4650 Lincoln Boulevard at Marina Del Rey. They have a hundred beds available and extensive care units for anybody who happens to be in need. Kev? A couple of uh, urgent messages we've just received here, Barney. Uh, Sergeant Petty of the National Guard has requested that we broadcast that all National Guardsmen of the 3rd Battalion, 144th Field Artillery, report immediately to their armories. Repeating that, Sergeant Petty of the National Guard has requested that all National Guardsmen of the 3rd Battalion, 144th Field Artillery, report immediately to their armories. And another message, there has been a call issued for members of a California Army National Guard unit. All members of the 40th Infantry Brigade are ordered to report to their armories. Repeating that, call for the California Army National Guard unit. All members of the 40th Infantry Brigade to report to their armories. Uh, taking a general view of the events in the last few hours, rumbling all along 300 miles of California's network of underground faults caused that mighty earthquake, the worst in 38 years. It's spread death and destruction today right throughout Los Angeles and the neighboring San Fernando Valley. We've seen some film, we've seen some uh, live reports from the uh, telemobile and the telecopter which demonstrate that very powerfully. At least 26 people now known to be killed 11 of them when that earthquake smashed that veterans hospital. An estimated 500 people are known to be injured and it's estimated that 6,000 people have evacuated their homes. The damage has run, of course, into millions of dollars. Uh, residents ran into the street in their night clothes when that quake centered in the town of New Hall, 40 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, suddenly shook the area for more than one full metro minute. Well, there's the, uh, the Veterans Hospital Silmar, which was absolutely smashed ruthlessly by that earthquake. You can see the damage there. Somebody said like, it was as if a giant had come with a great hand and just 
crushed it.